Hi everyone, this is Miss Torres, and a part of Chapter 10, Go Math, is learning position words. So we've learned about 3D shapes, and now we're moving on to position words, okay? And some of the position words that we will be learning in the next three lessons are above and below, beside and next to, and in front and behind. So those are some of the position words that you will be hearing in the next three lessons of the chapter. So today we are going to focus on two position words, and that is above and below. So what is above and what is below? Well, let's take a look at the tree. And where is the eagle in position to the tree, right? we know that the eagle is above the tree. And where is the dog in regards to the tree? Is the dog above the tree? No, the dog is below the tree. So the two words that we will be practicing are above and below. So again, our essential question, how can you use the terms above and below to describe shapes in the environment? So looking at this picture here, right, we see a boy and we see a bunch of different shapes, okay, a bunch of different objects. So trace a circle or you can point to the shape that's a cylinder that is below the shelf, okay? So I will repeat that. Point to the shape like a cylinder that is below the shelf. First, we have to find where is the shelf, okay? The shelf is right here. This is the shelf, okay? Now, we're looking for an object below the shelf. Remember, below is down here. So we have a bunch of different shapes down here at the bottom. Which one is shaped like a cylinder? Go ahead and point to it. This one is our cylinder that is below the shelf. Now, the next thing you're going to do is point to the object shaped like a sphere that is above the cabinet. Okay, so where is the cabinet? Well, this is the cabinet right here. Now, you're looking for a sphere that is above the cabinet. Well, I see a sphere right here. Is this above the cabinet? Hmm. No, it's not above the cabinet. Okay. Let's find another sphere that is above the cabinet. Go ahead and point to it. Here is the sphere that is above the cabinet. So here's the cabinet and above the cabinet is our sphere. Let's move on to the next page. Okay, here's a picture of some children playing on the playground. Okay, so please listen carefully to my directions as you um, point to some of these objects, okay? So, the first question. Find the object that is shaped like a cone below the playset. So here we have the playground. Look for objects below the playground. Point to the cone that is below the playground. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here is our shape, a cone, below the playset, right over here. Okay, so we have a cone that is below the playground. Ready for the next one? Let's see if you can find it. All right, listen carefully. Point to the object that is shaped like a cylinder above the playset. So we have our playground. You're looking for a cylinder above the playground. I'll give you 10 seconds to find it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. 
The cylinder that is above the playset is this one right here. It's the water bottle, okay? This one is above the playground. We have one down here too, but is this one above the playground? No, it's below the playground, so you should have circled this one right here. All right, let's move on. Now we have some students playing volleyball. I want you to circle or point to the ball that is above the net. We have our volleyball net. Point to the ball that is above the net. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Which volleyball did you point to? Did you point to the volleyball above the net? This one right here is the volleyball above the net. Here's our net. It is above the net. So you should have pointed to that one. Okay. Now, I want you to look at the boxes. We see some boxes here on our page. I see three boxes. So again, you're looking for the box that is below the net, below the volleyball net. So I want you to point to the box or the cube that is below the volleyball net. Go ahead and take some time to think. If you found it, point to it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So. The cube or the box that is below the volleyball net is this one right here. Is that the one you pointed to? This is the cube or the box that is below the net. Okay, let's move on to the last page. So here you have a volleyball net. And um, if you have a paper or pencil at home, if you can draw the volleyball net, you will also be able to do this part. All you need is a blank piece of paper. Draw your best looking volleyball net. And then let's get started. If you don't have a paper or pencil, that's okay. You can listen along with me. So we are going to draw to show what we know about real world three dimensional objects that might be above or below the net, okay? So, so I want you to think about an object that you would see above a volleyball net, okay? Think about what is a real world object that you might see above a volleyball net. Hmm. Well, let me give you an example. Do you think I would see a video game controller above a volleyball net? I don't think so. Do you think I might see a ball above the net? I think so too. So I'm going to draw a yellow ball above the net. I'm going to fill my ball in here the best that I can. And there is my yellow ball above the volleyball net. Now, I want you to think of something that you might see below a volleyball net. What is something that you want to draw below the volleyball net? I am going to draw a shoe below the volleyball net. I am going to take my black and I am going to draw a boot. I'm sure your pictures will look much better than my pictures. And here is my picture of my black boot below the volleyball net. So this is something that you can also do at home too, okay? Now, you can think of something in the room that is above or below another object. 
So if you are working with your parents or someone at home, okay, they can help you around your house or wherever you are describing objects that are above or below each other. Thank you for watching.